My name is Simone van Wijk. I'm 32 years old. I stay with my mother who is a pensioner. I'm currently unemployed. Uh, I was pregnant with Ramon Dere in 2016. And he did pass away when he was three months and a few days. They didn't give him any medication because he didn't seem to be in pain. He was a healthy baby, always smiling. I never took him to a clinic or a doctor, but then he started struggling to breathe heavy. And then his lips started to, to become a little bit blue. And then I got a fright. And then my mother told me, no, I think it's best. We took him to hospital just for a checkup. So what I understand about RSV is that it's a virus, okay, which causes a respiratory infection in, in everyone, in adults and children. But in children it's quite severe, so it can start as just an upper respiratory tract infection, but um, oftentimes it actually does cause a lower respiratory tract infection, which usually presents as an entity that we call bronchiolitis. Um, and it's also a nationwide and worldwide problem. Then they just said, no, well, I'm under an infection. I went there every day, seven o'clock I'm there. Seven o'clock at night I have to come home because that's the time the night shift uh, staff come in. I can't sleep there. Okay, it was heartbroken because I didn't want to leave my child alone and I didn't want to see him like that. The moment the phone rang, my heart started to beat fast because I only, I know, this can only be the hospital. Maybe something has happened to La Mondre. When I came there, they told me, okay, come in, mommy, there is lying there. And he was lying so peacefully, like he was sleeping. And then I pick him up and I told him, La Mondre is mommy. Wake up, baby. <laughs> and then he didn't want to wake up. And then my whole world just fell apart because I couldn't believe it because I didn't leave a child there by, by the hospital who was smiling and everything and just a few hours later I got a phone call telling me that he passed, he passed away. Hello. 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 Hello, Hello. The tests that are available to diagnose it are not cheap. So I believe that's why those are reserved for the very sick children. And probably also because there isn't no specific cure. I think if we knew that as soon as you diagnose it, you give this medication, this child will be fine. Then we'd probably test all the children. But because it might ne not necessarily be helpful to that child, it's not the first thing we, we look for. We just treat them all the same. You just do what you can. Ever since the Monday pass, uh, I did started to I was very angry and I started to hide and I started to drink a lot. I was drinking even during the week. My, fam my family was praying very hard for me because they, they, they have seen now I'm going now down the wrong road because I'm throwing my life away. I didn't care about myself anymore after the uh, passing of La And then I told myself, I don't want to have kids again. I don't want because I don't want it to happen to me again. But then the Lord did bless me with this one now. <laughs> the other mummies who is pregnant and who is wishing to become pregnant, uh, they must all know about the RSV because I didn't know. And if I maybe if I would have known about it, maybe I would have done something or take him earlier to hospital maybe would have still be alive.